welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my videos, hello! My name is Kareli Suna and I'm a digital artist and graphic designer. And today I am going to be showing you guys how I made my latest piece, my Sailor Saturn fan art. And yes, I am finally working again on my Sailor Moon series and it feels great! <laughs> I really, really hope that I can finish it by next year because it's been too long working on this. Jesus Christ! And for this piece, I was actually very fortunate and very honored to collaborate with one of my favorite cosplayers from the local scene here in Puerto Rico, Raven Von Ren. She's actually pretty amazing at what she does, so I am going to leave all her details down below in the description so you guys can go check her out. I'm also going to be showing you the entire process of how I made this piece and I'm going to be explaining it with detail step by step. Let's begin! So before we start with the speed art, I wanted to show you guys the references I used for this piece. Some are from the Eternal movie, some from the Crystal and original show. I wanted to make her look as accurate as possible, especially the Silence Glaive, which I knew was going to be the most difficult part. I started by fixing up some sections of her outfit, getting rid of the stars because we are going to replace that with some 3D star renders later, adding the tiara which I know Raven had on, but because of the wig it was not visible in the photo. I took the tiara from a Google photo because, let's be real, there is no way there is stock of that tiara. And then I started to color correct the bow in her dress because it looked too red and it's supposed to be more brown. After that I started to add more sections to her skirt to give it more movement and I started to play with the shading, which we are going to be building up little by little as soon as I know what effect we are going to add to the silence glaive. Then I proceeded to correct and blur her skin a little so it looked more smooth. After that, I started to play with the lighting of her face, eyes, and body. And don't worry if it's not 100% accurate in the beginning, because like I said, we are going to be building this up little by little. And now it's time to build the Silent Slave. Raven's glaive is perfect, but it's a cosplay prop, and I wanted the glaive to look as realistic as possible. So I used this rock hammer 3D render from Envato Elements to build the main part of the glaive, and I used the Lookify tool to give it the exact shape of the silence glaive and the stamp tool to fix any mistakes. Now it's time to work on the base of the glaive, and of course I knew it was going to be impossible to find something that looked exactly like the base of the silence glaive, so I took a piece of this Victorian frame to build the first part slowly, so it will look as similar as possible. For this, I used the curvature pen tool to cut the pieces, the liquify tool, and the eraser tool to fix any mistakes related with the shape. I also used part of the base of this candlestick branch 3D render from Envato Elements to make the second part of the base, and of course I decreased the saturation fully to make it look silver. Now I decrease the lightness of the first part of the base and play with the lighting on it to adapt it to the rest of the base and make it look as silver as possible. Next, I added a metal texture to the glaive because I felt 
felt like it needed something extra. Then I started to add the light effects to it and I used the outer glow in the layer style window to add that main purple glow around the glaive. I also started to add more of that purple glow by using the soft round brush and playing with the clipping mask of the different pieces of the glaive. Then I started to play with different textures to try and recreate the perfect effect to try and give the illusion that she's starting the Death Reborn Revolution attack. And this part took me a hell of a lot of time until I found this black hole texture that fit in perfectly. So now that we have an exact visual of what the effect of the glaive is, we can start playing with the lining more. But first, I started to add more volume and dimension to the hair before I start painting the lighting on it. For this, I used this hairbrush from the Sakimi Chan brush set, which I highly recommend for digital painting. I'll share the link in the description so you guys can have access to it. And next, I started to build up the lighting more on the left side of her body. For this, I recommend playing with the clipping mask, layers, and blend modes. Next, I started adding the lighting on the hair and first I painted two strokes of white using the soft round brush and then started smudging it using the smudge tool and that same hairbrush I used earlier. Then I changed the blend mode to overlay. Now I started to paint more crisp strokes of lighting on the glaive and around her body using a combination of the soft round pressure size brush and the soft round brush. So then I realized some portions of her costume look too blue in the picture. So I selected these specific portions using the polygonal lasso tool and then used the color balance tool to color correct them and make them look more purple. Now I started to paint the lighting effects in her hair. I first used that same light purple color from the Glaze light texture with that same hairbrush 
I used earlier and then added more shop details to it using the soft round pressure size brush in size 2 and then I played with the opacity and blend modes of the layers to perfect it. <gasps> it's a lot. <laughs> And now it's time to add the stars. I used these 3D star renders from Envato Elements and lowered the saturation and play with the color balance to color adapt them to the atmosphere. And now it's time to add the final lighting touches. This part is optional. It's more something that I do to pump up the lighting a little bit more, but you can skip it if you want. It's not really necessary. And to finish up, I added the Space Nebula texture to give a little something extra to the atmosphere around her and help it to not look so empty. Hey guys, welcome back. I hope that you guys liked the final result and that you had fun watching the process. This is actually the first time that I explain my full process like step by step in a video, so I really hope that you guys found it helpful. Remember to subscribe if you enjoyed this and follow me on Instagram so that you won't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.